alternate entrance. Do you think we have to go through here? Oh god. Scary shit. Oh shit. Don't stress out too much. Oh god, we're over the abyss. Ah! Oh shit! Go, go, go! Oh, the whole thing is breaking. Oh my god, dude. Go. There's a door there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Found it. Flushing, please. Flushing. Let me in. Let me in. So, what kind of monster are we finding here, huh? Open sesame. Let's find that safe and get out. Oh. Okay. Fuck, man. Holy shit. Who did that? Wait. They're all decapitated? Global lockdown active. Override a dive room console. Let's have a look. Wait, is this a dive room? Well, I don't see a console, so... Robot repair bay dispatch container dive room this way. Who is it? No creepy people inside? See that? I don't think he had a lower jaw. I think that was all cables. We need to stop it. Dive room this way. Medical bay. Oh, this place has chef's kiss atmosphere. Our speaker, so do you think the dive room's this way? Well, let's have a look. Hello? You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. Hm. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. 
There's got to be something else that can take us down there. The Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. The problem is... She's saying that... She's saying we'll do it just like in Toronto, but Toronto, I was scanned and my old self was still alive. Oh, cool. Oh, this D is open. There's a suit in D. I think we need to... If there are any power suits left, they should be in the lockers. We need to restore the power or lockdown first, I think. Oh, we can go outside here. Hmm. I guess that's if we have the power suit. Wait, I can't leave? Find a power suit and let's get on with this. Oh, God. Nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found I in the annex. just decapitated her. her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. Missing a head? I think you just screwed it off, though. So, wait. I love how I said that I just probably stopped playing and here I'm like, let's check this out. <laughs> HPS, high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 to minus 75 Celsius while keeping in a steady 40 F, a 40 C on the inside. 40 Celsius on the inside? You're fucking boiling in that suit then. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal one ATM up to a depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the, wear monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that locked, locks the gloves and helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as the as a default, the suit will accept anyone. Controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin condu conductance. Uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at. Not exactly grade-A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel, powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Okay. So we need three things to get the suit to work. We still haven't been at the diving room. Don't forget, we need a cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. <gasps> say, say. It sucks being interested in this cleaning out kitchen cabinets. I've almost dropped several things. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> North Hall. Let's see. 
Storage. Oh, I thought the diving room was this way. Kerosene. Oh, okay. I thought there was maybe something we needed in here, but... Um, because this is where we came in. Yeah. Containment. Lab. Clean room. Excuse me? Where's the dive room? Oh, diving prep room. Wait, that's where we were. So did we do something about the lockdown then? Oh, oh, right. F3 power room, system overload. Oh god. Uh, what are we doing? Do we just have to travel through everything? Get the virus? Did you see that? Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus, we have power. Got it. So we're here right now. I guess we should just have a look around. Start with this room. Hacker gab. <laughs> Scared me. Yeah, me too. I was like... I was kind of like spooked being like, why did it say that on the screen just now? And then like, power was like, BANG! <laughs> Clean room. Why is everyone decapitated? I can't read the chips then. Fuck. Do I need one of those? Oh, a little rat. No, oh, I want to see the little rat. Oh. Lisa Cameron. Structure gel has been charged and act actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. What did it say? If applied to circuits that seem to help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. I said, listen to me? Oh, fuck. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use... Oh, I missed it again. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Apply gel to a dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, of rea the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid. Destroy the wow. Solid as the gel had hardened within it. It said stop the well, and now it said destroy the well. Huh. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. Results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before ele electromag to avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets I don't- I didn't read that again. Are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same crosslink gel with aligned graphene in a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. Problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WOW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. Take the gel. 
the WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never ha even have dreamed of. An eternal nightmare. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers were manipulated by the WoW via structured gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by a cancer's growth that affects their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's... Stop the well. For sure say if it's a bad code or, or carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. What did I just hear? I'm hearing... Breathing? Hmm. Dispense gel. Is it working? Can I grab this? I can't. There you go. So it fixes it. Okay, we have gel. That wasn't too bad to get. So Rice, this scan isn't like, uh, what the fuck am I scanning right now? Quarantine? Quick. <laughs> to talk to me. I'm surprised that Catherine isn't talking at all. Like normally she kind of like keeps me company, you know? Talk about site alpha. Hmm. What? Do I need anything from here? I don't think so. Ooh, little rat boy. I guess we can heal here if we want to. 
<clears throat> I'm in constant detective mode. I notice that I'm like super serious, like oh. Um, an unusually sedated orange Ruffy. Ruffy? Is that how you say that? Found hovering outside Omicron's substation. Had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of the water. Kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. Instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Okay. Shelly, dead on arrival. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Loomer probe at about 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeters long rudder fish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that or Orvari can't shut up about. Ross, dead on arrival, Claudia Eames. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Dead man found on the climber. So he came back up with the elevator, but dead. Okay, so we checked these two rooms. I don't think there's anything here. We can check hydroponics. Um, I guess there's stairs here going up as well. We can check maybe these rooms. I'm getting tired now, though. We should probably call it a day soon. Hey, Andrea? Yeah? I was talking to Cameron about protein solubization. Do you think we could break the aggregate and structure gel without flattening the configuration? Jesus. That was a mouthful. You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you that's want, Riley? Yeah. <laughs> blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification and black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. Feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the WoW from mutating? <sighs> It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try... Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I just... Sorry. Hmm. Oops. I jumped. I wonder what they brought in with these boxes. Hmm, looks like there's nothing here. So there should be stairs here? Stairs going down, but does that mean that stairs going up? Oh. Hello. Damn. Oh, he's still moving. He's still alive. God damn. Yeah, it's just like stream fatigue because we've been going for a while and I can feel my attention is wavering a little bit and I want to be like really into the story for this one. It's it's so fun to play that I kind of just want to keep going. That's why I keep like nuts. I keep going because of that reason. Oh, these two are locked. Incorrect floor selected. Oh, that was easy. Eternal nightmare. Hmm. Okay. 
So for some reason this is off limits, but we could check the power room in the mess hall. There's nothing we need here. There's another body there. Oh, being kept alive. Holy shit, dude. That's crazy. Energy pal. Do I need that here? There's someone there. Holy shit. Um, um, this fucking music. Holy shit. Knocked over the boxes. Fuck, man. I think I need to be at that box. I need the battery pack. Just looking the other way. I wonder if we can, like... Get her to go somewhere else? I don't know. Throw something? Seems like sounds upset her. She doesn't care about sound? You sure? Then what does she care about? Just don't look at her? You sure? You need to throw stuff around? Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ah! She's walking towards me! Holy shit, go dude! Get out of here! Holy shit! Holy fuck. Can we put the lockdown back on? Jesus. No, I can't. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm gonna put as many doors as I can. Between that lady and me. What the fuck? What did she... What did she do? Like, what did she react to? The throwing the stuff seemed to help, but... Oh, he has recordings. Wait, how are you data mining him without his head? Oh, I guess he can't. Whew. Holy shit. Okay. She can't come out of that room. Okay. 
your movement, you need to pause every now and then. Ah. So why did throwing shit help? Or did it not help? Was it just a distraction? I don't like how silent Catherine is about all of this. <coughs> that was intense. Oh, okay. Um, that was the upper floor. I bet the last part is on the lower floor then. God, the music with her was so fucking creepy. That was amazing. Let's just hope this last one is easy to get then. Don't know who that lady was and I don't want to see her again. Why the fuck is everyone decapitated? Oh, this is where we came from. I feel so uh, uneasy about unlocking everything. Such a bad idea. The last thing I need is I kind of forgot. This is a thing. What do you want to do? Hmm. Do they all need to be on? Seems like we can just cycle through a bunch of things. Maybe there's a schematic somewhere? Or not. Hmm. Oh, that was scary, man. Okay, I don't know what to do with this yet. Oh. Sorry, sounds like my nose is filling up. I think it's time for me to end stream real soon. Wow. His lungs are like the little fans. Damn. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the Connect listening post? Must be you. important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay then. Stay safe. Now there's a lot more game. <laughs> it's not just one hour left, no. Um... Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone alright? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. <laughs> Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. All right, I'm heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tao, please respond. Tao, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tao. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Hmm. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Huh. The bases were going down one by one. Into the abyss. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. And Tau. Alpha, take the gel to Alpha. Hmm.
So connect one side to the other, you said? Like so? Hmm. I don't really see... Oh! Wait, how does that connect? Oh, so if it's empty, it can pass through? Optics. Do we need to turn all of these on? Oh, we need to we needed to eject the chip. Now I get it. Oh. Those are going to be my eyes. Oh, that's freaky. I just found myself a pair of eyes. Oh, I thought he was sitting up. Um. So, I think I have everything. Oh, I knew something was gonna happen here. Oh shit! Holy fuck! I didn't see her. Can I close this? Ah! No! <laughs> Holy shit! She was sprinting for me. Shut the door, cat. Lock it up. What's happening? Oh! Lock the door. <laughs> it worked. What's going on? I looked over and she was just like Terminator running. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get to work. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. That was fucking terrifying. Okay, so how do we put the, all the stuff in? This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Ah, battery pack? Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the seat from the terminal again. <laughs> I <Definitely> screamed. <laughs> it will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was going to suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. Won't be like before. Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Oh, Simon. Simon. Sit in the Think. In the next room. You might need to boot it up. Think about this. You know last time you got scanned. You didn't just get scanned. You got copied. Oh, do we need to plug it in? We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. That looks it, like it, isn't it? Oh. Oh, maybe it's this. Ah. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. 
Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. New body, here we come. With the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> New body. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? Nothing. What was that? No, I it just. Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now. You are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's going to happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cool. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You'd do that? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, so now... There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Train battery. This is the problem though. Now we have our own continuation issue. Do we want to be like the people that came before us who killed themselves after they got scanned? Or, like I said, do we want to just like keep this version as a backup or we are the backup, I guess. In case like something doesn't work out or whatever. This is like a dilemma, right? So we can, like, kill ourselves and move on, or we can leave him. Our, the one, the version of us that we just were, wake up and be like, Catherine and Suit are gone. And then piece together what happened. And he'll just be here all alone until, well, to survive, I guess. Would be awful to wake up alone. I am the backup, yeah. Yeah. It is a thing to think about. Um, the main character, Simon, just said, like, maybe we should just let him die, because I wouldn't want to wake up here. And now he's speaking for himself, so. Um, I think when I originally played it, I left him alive, because I couldn't bring myself to do it. You kill him is that suicide or murder i know right <laughs> wait let me let me see i'm curious um i'm curious uh kill or what's the other word kill or leave him i guess Kill Simon, leave Simon. One minute. Let's see what chat thinks. Spare him. Yeah. Well, I guess, yeah. Spare him slash we're leaving him behind. Look at that. That's, that's, that's very interesting, as Catherine would say. <laughs> Too cruel. Kind of hard to think about that. Yeah. It's a, a big moral issue. If you spare him, you could come back for him later. 
Do you want to live with multiple versions of yourself, though? Keep copying. Well, we have 245 people saying to kill him and only 85 saying to leave him behind. So, we're gonna drain the battery. He will die in a minute, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, God. That's it. He's gone. So technically... Oh, that's so weird. Technically, the person we've been playing with as this entire time is now dead. We're a new person now. Oh, that's so weird. Ah. Well, Cass, it's you and me. Sort of. Wait, oh, we're going outside. Now we're ready for the... I always need to think about it. The deep... Deep dark... Deep dark down, deep down? What was it? <laughs> I always forget. <coughs> <coughs> The deep down, dark, deep down. Okay, deep down, dark, deep down. Okay. It's so hard to remember for some reason. I'm ready. Oh. We're ready to go down. Goodbye, Omicron. See you later. Um, can't go down there. Oh shit, don't fall. Oh, I almost fell. Or do we, ju do we just jump down? Maybe it's here. This looks better. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a new body. Weird. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, let's see. So this is the elevator that'll take us down. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the Clara, please. Sure thing. How do I do it? Descend. Passengers one. Take a seat and we'll be off. Here we go. Didn't think about that. There's still room for me? What about the Simon I killed at Omicron? What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who called me an imposter? It's dumb luck, right? That I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind? Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. It's 
say anything. Heard one kilometer depth there. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I can still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel Two that kilometers sense of death. Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? still be alone no friends no family you could make new friends i'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler if not you still have oh, shit catherine catherine hello catherine what happened should we climb out? Should I take her out? Take her with you. Um, the thing about the audio though is the voices are quiet, but once the monsters show up, this game is fucking loud, so... It seems a little quiet now, but it's gonna be fine once the action kicks in. Then it's gonna be too loud, so... I like a little bit in between. Um, can I push that back in? I know it's not much, but why have we stopped moving? Uh -huh. <laughs> for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. Wow, it's look. pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Let's go back in. something? What do you want? I see you blinking, but... Did he just say, are you blinking? Oh, I should just sit down again? Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time freeze a minute. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes, but generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. We're getting close. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. It sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> Rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. Mm. How do you feel worst. exhausted though if you don't have a body that is physically exhausted? How can you be mentally exhausted if you're just wires? Oh shit. Oh, oh what the fuck, dude? You did it! You did it! 
That was the dude that said he would follow us. So he was following us. Ooh, creepy. It was the dude that was in the middle of that room and the glass. The glass broke and he was like, I will follow you. But we didn't see anyone. Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage. Oh. Numps you right We're at 3.7k. Spoke to me. Looks like a man. One of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. <laughs> what? It said it would make preparations. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. Glad it didn't. Yeah. Me too. Oh, we're approaching 4k. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Mm -hmm. Good. Not sure the climber could take it 4k! Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the Abyssal Plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the other you has been here. We're following in all footsteps, Cat. When I had footsteps... You could still be down here somewhere. Technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Mm, yeah. Oh, I'm sure we're gonna find her body. I honestly don't really remember. Well, let's go explore, I guess. We made it all the way down. Oh, it's so dark now. Loomer link needed. Operating. What? What music? I'm just looking at the map. Power relay, service station, storage, towel. Okay. Danger, area unsafe. Stay close to the lights. You got it. I love lights. I love lamp. Julia Dahl, Richard Holland, check, Tau evacuation, wall deck, failed, bringing Ark to Fi, Catherine, Peterson, Lindwall, Iveshkin, and Hill. And then he came two days later. so hard to see. My lenses are not as good as the ones I had in my last body. Tao? Come in, Tao. Please answer, Tao. Nothing. It's dead. Let's move out. We'll try the next one. almost feel the pressure of being this, this deep down. Also makes me want to play Subnautica again. Wait, did I do it wrong or...? Okay, we have lights. That'd be okay though. I, I have no like knowledge of traveling this deep down physically. I guess they would have special suits, but isn't it also a thing of like you can't you can't go down that quickly and then or go up that quickly again because of the pressure difference? Fault line activity, strong torrents expected. Okay.
Well, yeah, for us not, because we're machines, but... And dead bodies. But I mean just, like, the people that were here before us. Ooh, that's a head. Jesus, did you see that? Stick to the lamp lights, they won't go near them. I can't, Valglasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Ross, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? So they tried to... We lost the path. We need to go back. I know where to go. Come on. It's over there. The light is over there. Final push, Ross. Almost there. We just... So they tried to get back to Omicron that we just came from. So they tried to escape this place and go back up. Blue leads to Tau, red leads to the climber. Okay, so we need to follow blue. Oh shit. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, and then if you look the other way, it's red. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, so then you know what way you're going. Just a little jog across the ocean floor, no big deal. Um, was that a big mechanical fish? Winds howling. Inventory, mission logs. I can't even see it. Like, clean the screen, dude. Dried squid, frilled shark. Rare shark approached the luminous lure, circled around to eat the dried squid. Unlikely that it frequents this depth, an anomaly. Blue marlin. Hey, we didn't we fish that in Animal Crossing? Mantle the size of uh, spade length, 10 to 12 meters. That's a big squid. Frantic attack tore the marlin apart. As soon as we turned on the lights, it quickly fled the area. Clearly another specimen affected by this leaking structure gel. Okay, so there's some animals that are affected by the gel. Partially covered in scales and newly formed bone structure protruding through the mantle. Target unknown. Creature disfigured by gel are manic and will attack anything. Still hard to determine how WoW was, has affected their behavior beyond their apparent aggression. The creatures seem to hunt er something particular, something not present in this ecosystem. Oh, population size. Wait. So they... down here are we just going oh cool what's this do new lights oh it break wait but then where do I go I need to follow the blue lights, right? But this is red, because that leads back. Are there like more lights in the back? Oh, 
was a glow stick. Who left that here? Should I follow this? Oh, yeah, there's lights in the back there. This is getting creepy. I don't like being out in the open like this. Ooh, I would be terrified being around here on my own. I'm hearing noises. I don't like it. Follow the glow sticks. Wherever left them there. Hmm, there's nothing in here. I was like, secrets! But no. Oh, I think there's a building in the back there. Hearing something though. Oh, something's coming. A thunderstorm underwater? <laughs> What's happening? Whatever it is, it's not here yet. Ah, oh, we're inside. Insufficient power. Okay. Tao, can you hear this? Anyone there? This is Tao? Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Theta calling. I got a team with me and we're about half a kilometer from Tao. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward and the wildlife you got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. The instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. The weather. Stick to the light. <laughs> the current. The critters should leave you alone. All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tao, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. I don't know what this is, but... I don't think I can do anything with it. I turned some lights on, so... Oh! The power is on. Good. Let's go have a look at what this is. Okay. Where are we? Here? Is this gonna go there? Are you gonna lead the way? Uh, don't turn off the light. St keep the light on, please. Oh, the lights are off. Okay, so this buddy is my only chance at survival. Oh, fuck. Stay in the light, stay in the light, stay in the light. Uh! So hard to see where the light's going. Oh, there's a light on there. Shit. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Oh god. Where'd my thing go? 
Did he take it away? Okay, go in here, go in here. I think some, something just snagged my robot, friend. Do I have a flashlight? Yeah, I do. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like spiders. Sea spiders. God, that's fucking gross. Wait, where's the... Okay, I think there's a light there. Even here. It's getting too quiet. Okay. <laughs> they're they're digital spiders, guys. We got this. They can't hurt us. <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's so many! Fuck this shit, man! <sighs> Excuse me. That's a fish. He's trying to lure me in. I do kind of want to have a look, though. Whoa! Big teeth! Oh, shit. You fucked me up. Go, go, go. Just don't get close to the fish. I can just barely see those lights. Okay, there we go. They're still blue, so we're still heading in the right direction. Follow the cable. <gasps> that dude. How does he move around like that? We're having so much trouble getting around. Oh shit, where do I go? Oh, there. I can just barely, like, see the next light when I reach one. It's so hard to see. Is he making those noises? Thank god the lights work here, though. Wait, are we going into another cave? I don't know. <laughs> trying to- trying to see. I'm focusing so hard. I'm trying to make sense of the stuff that I'm seeing. Did we make it? Let me in. Let me in! Whee. Yes! I think we made it. <sighs> Thick doors. Makes sense. It's for the pressure. Thank god this station is still operational. We made it! Now it's gotta load the building. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Open sesame! Never been happy Hello! To Let's find the arc. Friends! I'm here! Well, that's not a good sign, is it? Maybe another dead body on the run? HPS3 active. It's a bunch of names. Okay. 3 is active. The one with all the blood. Okay. So I guess there is a body on the run, huh? <laughs> 
Welcome to Tau. What's left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Real Haven't food? heard from anyone in months. No shit. They all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh shit. Oh god. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. God damn. They just lost touch with this base and just didn't send anyone down to go check, I guess. Oh, I need that health. That'll be nice. Take my fist! <laughs> Much better. Maybe they caught some fish or something? What's that sound? What's happening? Keep thinking I'm gonna see someone. Okay, so there's a bunch of locked doors everywhere. Looks like we can still make it to the back, though. Where the bodies are, the little pluses. So we just need to make it to the end, take a right, and then loop around. And then we should be able to make it. Like, I forgot I have a cursor. Go here, go here, and then we can loop back. I don't know, maybe we need to open these doors. But this is also... What was that? Did you hear that click? Maybe we need to be careful. it What's behind this door? I don't trust it. I fucking knew it. Suit number three. fucking knew it. The way the door took so long to open. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh, I don't trust this. The way that door took so long to open. He's coming running. I was like, there's gonna be this thing where I probably have to press a button and then wait and then I have to get back there once it's done. My god, he is running around. 
I am not okay with that. Do you guys memorize the map? I kind of forgot. Maybe I like outside better now. <laughs> He's like right here. I'm trying to see if the static becomes less bad or not. He's trying to come in here. <gasps> God damn it, dude. Is that all you're gonna do? That's exactly where I need to be. The way he's walking, it's so creepy. Dude, you're not just gonna hang out there, are you? the direction I'm trying to get to. <gasps> Holy fuck! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, dude. Just go anywhere. Just go anywhere. <laughs> I have no idea where this is. Oh. Oh god! He's still following me. <sighs> okay, we made it. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Impact notes, post impact notes. Minus structural damage. Is there still a monster in here? Communications recovered. Omicron and the rest of Pathos are all right. Cross site radio failing. Urgent fix needed. Tau can't re retrieve the climber until the link is working. Visited by Walchek Holland. System of bi-weekly visits established until communications back at 
Evacuation of Tau ordered, we're all leaving for Omicron. Sworn by monsters and no radio, we're fucked. Okay, I think I'm good. Offline, offline, offline. Okay. Oh, can I? Yes. This is where I came from. Now it's locked. So now we're good. Okay, we need a code for that door. And we unlock the infirmary now. Launch site okay. Mission control okay. Assembler okay. That's cool. We can still use the space gun. Okay, so hopefully... The monster didn't get in and I locked the doors on time. Yeah, it's locked. Oh. Yay. The fuck is going on? Ross's room is locked. There's a person in there? Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna just um, leave you two alone in here. You guys can use some privacy. It's not. There's another body in here. Can't we do anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. <sighs> Did not expect it to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark. No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. We'll all be dead one day. Then what? We'll better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wow to take it, swallow it whole. Uh, I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. Oh. So Catherine didn't make it here, at least, with the Ark. Oh, this is so tense. God damn. Is he just in my head? Oh, no. Oh, Catherine. This person liked her. What the fuck did we do? Hey, try not to think about it. My whole life, I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. I should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. <laughs> hmm. So we opened up the infirmary. Bathroom. Bathroom is a normal bathroom. Nothing too spooky going on here, thank god. We came from there, right? Oh, 
Oh, it just goes down. <laughs> no thanks. Let's go up first. <laughs> Why are they getting sick? They might just be starving to death. Because there's no food anymore. Hello. You. You're different. Can I help you with anything? Dark. Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? She might be the last human so. on Earth. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. Nope. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And uh, I'm the only living person you've met. Hell yeah. <coughs> You mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what's She's the pretty hell calm are you talking to a... Trying to find the Ark. Why would a you? A dead body with How do you know about cameras that? for its eyes. I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. To tell you the truth, I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. What? Good one. Endangered I species. I'm the last one. It's crazy. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. Be my guest. I got no secrets worth keeping. <gasps> if I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. Someone just unlocked the door for us. Nadine Masters. Thorough look at what common men chemicals and compounds found at Pathos 2 could keep you alive in emergency situations. Manual on how to keep unconscious or comatose colleagues fed through drip. How to make room for additional payload after the casing has been constructed at Left Delta. <coughs> hmm. What do you guys think, though? I wouldn't want to kill her. You serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's <laughs> probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept second best you know so 
so hard not to bite my lip. None of this feels right. Son, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Well. Don't let me down. She wants it. Would you stay with me, please? Oh God, of course. It won't be long now, just please just stay. What a crazy thing this was, life. At least I won't have to turn 30. Oh god, she's not even 30? Wish I could have died at home with my friends. You ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. Never been. Well, at least when you get out of the city. Nanak is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. You know what? I prefer it this way. I like to pay folks. Liked my colleagues, Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Catherine. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you still there? I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there to the stars. Oh, uh, she going. Oh, I was trying to look down there. Well, I think that was it. The last human on Earth. Right, isn't there like a little elevator thing? I guess I'll just send it down. Let's see who opened this room. It's a fairly normal looking room. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered the people at Theta was it the evacuation the evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Glasser, Kovsky, Coatsy, and I survived. Eau Claire is in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. Coatsy made a run for it to check observ observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. People from the plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us that they wanted to use the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in this afterlife. 
Some of the engineers returned from Fai. Apparently they postponed the ARC launch. They were all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from. Except for one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure this ARC business out, but they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone could would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. I will finally get to warn Dal and Sarang about the critical situation at Site Alpha. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. Creepy. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. Ooh, got some it's crackle. trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol no, demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Hmm. And they never did. Is that the WoW? Ooh. Hmm. So why did that... That was just for those files? That it unlocked? Very comforting that that one door is locked. <laughs> oh, here it is. As long as that dude that was behind us can't catch up with us, I'm good. fine. I think I need to put it here. Yeah, I think this thing's gonna transport it. difference. Unable to equalize pressure. Do we do anything? Um. Ah, 
that's what I thought. I'll bring the water to me. Here it goes. The Ark is on a journey. Do I need to move that debris? Get out of the way. Oh, it's high enough. Okay, good. I just need to be able to follow it. Ugh. Let me go. I'm coming, Ark! There it goes. So many people on board. Well, not that much, actually. Wasn't it like 60 people or something? Eighty something. It's so quick. Cool. Oh shit. How are we gonna? Okay. Is he pointing me to something? Oh, he is! Why does he... Why is that person helping me, though? I remember being 58 or 59. Yeah, I thought something like that. How do I get back to the... To my arc. Because that dude was like, I will begin the preparations. It's like, what do you have to gain from all of this? Who is he? Where the Ark is? Site Alpha is where the WoW was located, right? Safety protocol level seven. To what? Just tell me what you want. I need you to stop the well. What? How? The enslaved protein is sloshing around your suit. Is the news from which the well will have itself? What are you talking about? As soon as I came to. Created. And then the girl, she figured it out. 
She was going to take care of it, but the while I shrieked. They all died. You. You. You took the gel from the cabinet and made yourself into a venomous snake. Oh. You're saying this toxin inside of me can kill the wow altogether? That's what I put in my suit. Holy shit. What the hell is that? Whoa. Heart. It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. All you need to do is poison the imprint, and the heart will unwillingly spread it across Pathos 2, killing it. Feed it, Simon. Push your arm into the heart. Take my fist! Why would it eat it? <gasps> oh. Why would we want to- Please! I did what you wanted! Dead good, Simon. But you can't leave. The only way to make sure the WoW stays dead is to destroy the only one who's immune to the new pattern. Don't worry. I'll make it quick. Oh no, you're not gonna kill me. Oh god! Oh. Oh, I guess he ain't. I guess we're good. Time to go. Let's go! How it keeps humans in a dream state with pleasant dreams. Oh. Wait. As it happens to Simon when he got caught in Theta, it's not that different from the Ark, and who's to say WoW won't get better? Well, yeah, I don't... I mean... I don't really care about the well because all the humans are dead already anyway. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's coming. Run, 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 run. Follow the lights. Big fish. Whatever it is. Oh, go in there. Am I hurt? Take my other fists. <laughs> okay, all better, dude. Is he gone? That's a big boy. Gotta stay in the light, right? Oh no, he's just going straight through the light. He doesn't give a fuck. Time to go! Time to go! Please don't get me, please don't get me, please don't get me. There, there, there. Hide, hide, hide. Go, go, go. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Go, go, go. Oh, fuck, I can't really hide here. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Go, go, go. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. We just gotta go now. The music is telling me to go. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, it didn't kill me. It didn't kill me. Oh, I have no idea where I am. 
Dude, go. Oh my god, get back on the trail. Stay close to the rocks. Holy shit. Go, go. Hi. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Don't come in. Don't come in. My house. This is my house. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh. He got me one time, but I got through it. I hope the arc made it here. But yeah, the thing with the the wow was like you don't really know what it was planning to do, but you could tell that it was at least trying to save humanity. I think it was just trying to keep them alive, right? Because we've met a couple people now that are like, it won't let me die. Took its duties too to literal. Fine, yeah. Right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. Me too, dude. We need to. Yeah, I was gonna say we need to plug in Catherine somewhere because we have to tell her a lot. Chris, what the hell happened to your arm? It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. Ooh. I'll have both my arms in the arc, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the arc? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Okay. I'm sure Catherine's body has to be around here somewhere. All right. Is up and running. Would it be in the loading dock? Let's go have a look. Ooh. Oh, that's nasty. Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. Okay. Oh, I can heal. Take my good fist. Uh. Ah, much better. This feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104. 3 30 a.m. But I don't remember when we started. Oh, I got a battery. How oh, sweet. You so know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a real I woke up in my bed today. A hundred years ago. Who am I? Who am hey, I? Hey! It did All make right. it! Found the Ark. Good job, Simon. Now we just need to find the assembly space so we can stuff the Ark into a shell. Okay. Cool. Is it this little thing hanging here? It's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better Blood. not oversell it. Oh. Might change my mind about the Ark. You seriously not going to tell me what happened to your arm? 
I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the WoW. What? How? Why? Stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. People got cold feet. Think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine, it's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't she got herself get it? killed. It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the Ark. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. It was an accident. Oh. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine. God, that's the moment she died. Oh God, Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you? Oh. You mean Catherine? Don't worry, it's better this way. Is it? That sucks. I think I found the assembly space. What do oh, you see? Like big bullet. A bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the arc. I need a battery. Cool. Can I just get that battery from the other one I just got? How did she die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the arc. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me. I'm sure it was an accident. They were just I'm trying sure to it stop was an accident. Launching. No, that was not an accident, dude. Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. What do I do? What is this power? Oh. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There was some Jesse. Kevin? Right. I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Contact up and we'll head out to the gun. Here it goes. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky. We just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. Mm. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. Not the Ark yet, no. Now what? Now we just need to get the shell into the gun and then... Kaboom! Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega Space Gun with your bare hands. You mean... It's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omnitour Two and birds, plug it huh? in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Catherine and oh Simon, don't you know how this works by now? Side map. 
Hey, there's someone here. Something in storage? Can we get there? Wait. Have we been there? Oh yeah, that's where we came from. This is the ladder and then... That's where we got the Ark. Okay. And that's Catherine's body then. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. Simon is so gullible. He even says like, oh, you mean like an Omicron? <laughs> He's like, sure, this time it'll work. Who's gonna tell him, yeah? So where am I going? Oh, right. Oh, wow. The gun. Holy shit. So it's gonna be loaded in here and then shot into space. Nothing I can do here. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. Scan me, baby! How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm doing it. Can I turn it? How do we turn it? Oh. It's on board. There we go. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. <laughs> really now. Here we go. No turning back. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. It's, it's surprising though that that actually works. Like, gets scanned and Time. downloaded seconds. into the art in the shell. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. Thought you guys would have better bandwidth. Oh, well, Catherine is on. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Oh God. Seven. Six. You gotta be kidding me. Four. Come on, Three. hurry up. Two. Yes. Fuck yeah, we made it. <laughs> well, it's gone. Still. <laughs> I'm still here. Catherine? Catherine? I'm here. What the hell happened? 
What went wrong? Nothing. They're out there, among the stars. We're here. No. We were getting on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron, just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. Uh, this is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks, but our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. They are, I'm though. Sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck you, Catherine. You lied. And I believed in you. I trusted you. You said we're getting on the fucking Ark. We are on the Ark, you idiot. I didn't lie. I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance. You fucking fuck. Critical failure. Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine? No. <laughs> what a good game. Oh, what a good game. God, it's such a good ending. Ah. Oh, God damn. So good. Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, all right. yeah there's yes. an after credits. Um, so hold on for a little bit. We'll we'll watch the post credits as well. But yeah, it's like I remember the first time I played it, the first time it happened, when we switched suits and like the second version was there, I remember being like, oh shit. You get copied. You, do, you don't get cut and pasted. You get, you get copy and pasted. Um, which was like a horrible realization. And then by the time this happened, I was like, I don't think I trust Catherine, but we're going to see what happens. And then, yeah, you get copy pasted. So if everything went well, then there should be a Simon on board of the Ark and he should have a happy life. But there is also... A Simon, all alone, at the bottom of the fucking ocean, missing a hand, and just nothing to do anymore. She never lied to him, really. No, she just kind of like danced around it a little bit. She didn't like... Because she also knew that she like... Catherine was just like, I need to get this shit done. He's the only help I have, so I need him to do what I need him to do. So she, like, made sure to say just what was necessary and not really, like, hold it over his head being like, don't forget, there's gonna be a second one of you, you know? He even took out the wow, yeah. So who, who was that person again? That, what was his name, I mean? The guy that wanted to take down the wow? He went to Omicron to get help, but then his help got rejected or something? Ross. Oh, that was Johan Ross, okay. You're getting control C and not control X, yeah. She glitches and dies. Yeah, I think her... I think her chip broke. I think her chip was being held together with the structure gel as well. I think her circuit's just overloaded because she got so angry. But yeah, this is... I honestly think this is Frictional's best game. The story is just so good and thought-provoking. After credits. Whoa. Is this... Did it work? That's nice. Nice flowers.
Welcome to the Ark. This must be so nice compared to the shithole we were in. What happens when the arc runs out of RAM? I mean, when it, if it breaks, then everything just gets suspended. They just basically get- their data gets frozen, I think. So... The people on the arc won't know a thing. Um... But yeah, the arc is designed to last thousands of years, so... Should be fine. Welcome! If you're reading this, you've ex you have successfully entered the Ark. Yay! This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of the subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. How would you describe your physical condition? Invigorated. How would you describe your mental condition? Mm, normal. Nice surroundings. How would you describe your senses? Normal. Because we're not a dead body with a camera anymore. How would you describe your sensation of your new condition? Pleasant. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? Nah, I'm used to it now. How would you perceive your new existence? A new chapter in my life. Hmm. A complete do-over. New chapter. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Yes. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? No! <laughs> Her answers have been saved. Thank you for participating, the ARC team. Okay. Well. This is my new life for thousands of years. Ooh, there it is. Oh, pretty. Big building. Oh. Look at that. That's so cool. Catherine. I can't believe we actually made it. She's a person now. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. Mm. So that's how it works. The bullet that it was loaded in has solar power. So it's just, as long as it's being solar powered, it can just run. <clears throat> And provide power for the Ark. Oof, yeah. The Earth is burning. Not all of it, though. It's hard for me to think that the entire world is dead. Because you don't- we don't know for sure. It's just that the people at the bottom of the ocean lost contact with up, everything up above. There it goes. I mean, I guess that's human's trait. Our species is very good at positive thinking. <laughs> so I'm just like, nah, I'm sure some survived. <laughs> God, what a good game. I'm so happy to be able to go through it again. What an adventure. This is such a good game. Do we know what Soma means? I actually don't know. I don't know why they called it Soma. Does it stand for something? Soma means body? Ah, body in Greek. 
I see. Yeah, because it's the whole... The whole theorizing, like, what makes you human? Is it just being in a body or can your mind be uploaded? Uh, Kurtzkazak, so you know the YouTube channel? They actually did um, a cyberpunk-related video recently where it was like, could we, in theory, upload our minds into the cloud and then uh, just live like that? Would, what, would, would we still be human? I was like, oh, I'm just getting to that in Soma, actually. <laughs> I'm so happy I got to play through it again. That was really nice. I really enjoyed that. I think I enjoyed it so much more now as well, um, compared to uh, all those years ago when it came out and I played it back then. 2015, you guys said? Five years ago? 